just focus in on the thing you want. Use a slowdown software. I'm assuming you do that already. Yeah, cool. So I would just take the first lick. Obviously, you're going to ascertain what key you're in first, right? Know what the chords are, know what the key is, so you have the context of what it is you're working in. And then um, start to figure out exactly what the chord voicing is that's being played. Not so maybe you understand it's a G major seven chord. Then the question becomes what kind, right? But I will fumble if someone's playing like some super nerdy, you know, if this is the voicing that they're playing on the record, I'll be like, mm, that's, I'm gonna have to think about that, but I will start by just looping it in the slowdown software and just listen to them going, you know, playing something like that and be like, I think it's something like a G major seven. And I'll just find the simple version of what they're doing. So now I'm in the wheelhouse of what they're doing. And then I'll start searching usually for low pitches first or high pitches. So you, your ears will find the extreme pitches faster, right? So I'll just start singing low pitches, trying to hear what the low pitch is and then sing it. And this is true whether it's a chord I'm trying to learn or a lick that I'm trying to learn. Um, and I'll just loop a half second of music at a slow tempo if I need to. Maybe I, ideally it'd be longer than that, but it'll just be like the first lick, the first chord, the first two chords. And I'll just have that loop on and on and, on and just try to sing the pitches I'm hearing. And frankly, I was slow at this to start. And then over the course of years of doing it, you become faster just by your ear developing.